scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Calling us deeper, 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 deeper. It's calling us deeper, 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 deeper. It's calling me deeper. Koinonia is not the name of a program. Please listen. The word koinonia is, is the name given to the experience that God delivers unto us here. We found different ways to express this. And the best theme that God gave us was koinonia. So don't get used to Koinonia being the name of a program. I'm coming for Koinonia as a program. I need you to know that Koinonia is an experience. This is why every time we talk about Koinonia, we tell you experience. Experience it. It's a real solid experience. When you experience Koinonia, you do not need to tell people. They will know that you met the Lord and you are walking with him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Koinonia means intimacy and partnership with the Holy Spirit. And I told us how that it is important to understand these things are complementary, but they are not the same. Hallelujah. Our goal in this place is to bring people to a place of intimacy with the Holy Spirit to help us understand the structure and the operation of the kingdom of heaven jesus left only one message with the body of christ the gospel of the kingdom hallelujah the entire bible from genesis to revelation is an attempt to convey the story and the message of a kingdom and no matter what we become if we do not understand the system of god's kingdom and how it operates my passion in life aside from helping men experience the reality of the Holy Spirit, is to bring them into a comprehension of the structure, the operation, and the principles of the kingdom. This is what we do week in, week out. Hallelujah. There is a culture we are initiating you into. 
there is a way of life there is a pattern there is an understanding there is a mindset that you are receiving and our success as far as this prophetic assignment is concerned for this season is only realized if you are actually becoming what we are praying and laboring that you become is that true hallelujah for as long as we have crowds and people keep clapping people keep falling down getting up getting messages traveling around and the messages keep spreading that is great but are you being changed are you becoming this this epistle that we are trying to carve and chisel praise the lord i told you that this is a school there is a long curriculum of the spirit and week in week out we keep examining different aspects of the kingdom so that we can come into a comprehension it's not just for you to have rema and to say oh every time you stand give me this mountain there's a message like that no no or commanding result or any of these great messages you love the goal is that you become an expression of this thing hallelujah such that wherever you go you become an envoy hallelujah grace is granted unto you to begin to reproduce the things that you have learned acts chapter 1 said i write these things to you O excellent theophilus of all that jesus began to do and teach not just teach do and teach hallelujah i have spent my life helping the body of christ to understand that the kingdom of god is not a religious organization the kingdom of god is a system everybody says a system made up of a definite structure and when you understand the structure the operation and the patterns of the kingdom then you will be able to be a worthy ambassador god will now be able to empower you hallelujah praise the lord please get this i, I want you to i want to burn it into your spirit i want you to understand that this is what we are doing so that you can align yourself and you can have a reference from which to gauge your spiritual progress is that true if you look at where in november right now if you look at yourself from january till now how many principles of the kingdom do you know and understand that you can apply consistently to deliver results if all you have done is to attend the meetings very faithfully but you have not come into a comprehension a knowing a recognition and understanding of this thing that we seek to teach then our hearts are not fulfilled hallelujah it's very difficult for believers in the body of christ to sit down and learn and understand the principles of the kingdom we prefer to receive we prefer pray for me lay hands on me cast the devil out of me do this and that you know prophesy breakthrough and do all of that and that is wonderful that's why we spend the last week of every month to minister to god's people because it's part of what we are anointed for but i needed to understand that our pride and our satisfaction is not that you honor the meetings every friday so that we do not come and preach to empty chairs but that you are being transformed you are being transformed in a way that we are seeing hallelujah that's why every time i have the opportunity to bless my sweetheart the dear lady i love her so much because i have seen as little as this lady is this lady has had encounters with jesus she has had encounters with different kinds of people as little as this girl is she would be in the midst of people who are maybe playing some ungodly songs and she will confront them and say jesus doesn't like this this is this is a mindset are you getting my point so there is a training and because her mind is innocent she's not received any junk from the past so the work of her own right now is not renewing the mind her own is building and transformation 
are you getting me there's there's nothing that has corrupted and and spoiled the spiritual genes of her mind so it's easy for the holy spirit to be able to walk this lady will grow with this ideology are you getting me now and when she gets to certain levels you will see how mighty god will use her to her she's just playing she's a little girl she's just a lady who is passionate about jesus she has come to know jesus as a person she has come to honor the things of the lord there's one other little baby a prayer band baby every time i have the opportunity to come and pray with the prayer band when you come very tiny girl you just see great people praying and sweating and you see one very tiny girl also following them whenever people lift their hands you watch what they are doing and lift her hands too we call this a programming it's a mindset hallelujah if she works consistently under that atmosphere that mindset will become a stronghold in her and no devil will take it away are you getting my point a stronghold is not a demonic word stronghold is whatever has held your mind captive so that you become its victim and if that becomes the word of god and the operation of the kingdom then you will begin to reflect christ by default hallelujah are, are you understanding me now so as as we seek to teach it's important you understand that we are not just displaying new revelations or attempting to tell you to see the progress we are making spiritually no no we are trying to unveil to open you up to the structure and the dimensions just like you come into a school system you come naive and a lecturer keeps teaching you and building you is that true curriculum course after course a time can come when you can turn back and say kite to an extent I understand what I'm studying how many of you don't lift your hands can turn back and say after years and years of sitting under the word I understand to an extent to the level to which light has been opened unto me I understand there are many of us that have failed to to discipline our spirits to come into a comprehension of this truth and can i tell you something when you stay in the presence of god you never go back neutral you go back broken or you go back hardened one of these two must happen to you are you getting me it becomes dangerous when you are used to the atmosphere of god's presence because you will have that form of religion so every time they raise the structure you know it is that true every time they are talking about giving you say ah, i can't even list the scripture but the bible says ever learning but never coming into the knowledge of the truth and that becomes a dangerous thing have you seen people that every time you try to correct them you can see somebody smoking you try to talk to him and see how he will bombard you with scriptures he will tell you my reverend baptized me even me and my reverend we drank the same beer blah 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 this and that happened and he will try to justify it is that true and he will tell you the bible says for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of god and he believes that you are supposed to be convinced an ideology hallelujah we seek to transfer a mindset are you receiving that mindset is it becoming real in your life because the world will test your conviction about these things we are teaching you is that true you will find people everywhere this conviction will be tested in your relationship and marriage this conviction will be tested in your academics this conviction will be tested in your personal life this conviction will be tested in your job your business your ministry whatever endeavor it's not enough just to know the word of god you must submit to the authority of that word he said submit yourself under the mighty hand of god it is only on that condition that you can resist the devil and he will flee please are you learning something so if after all of the teachings that we have been teaching and teaching and teaching and let me use let me use one lady come hallelujah if we have been teaching on the structure of the kingdom look at me and this lady carries herself 
alive and goes to chain herself in a very bad and ungodly relationship what what does that tell you it tells you that this ideology has not become spirit and life to her is that true is that true are you following me now if this lady wants to get married right now if she has been listening to the truths that we have been teaching she will now use them as the template the platform that informs whatever decision she's making is that true do you understand so based on that now God can give us a thumbs up because we are not just doing religion. Somebody is receiving this truth, believing it enough to be convicted whether you are supervised or not. It has become your way of life. Hallelujah. So, a non-believer can come to my sister right now and say, see, let's go to a party. I have money. Is it not money you are looking for? And the lady can tell him, um, I appreciate your interest in me. But I need you to understand that I belong to a kingdom. And in that kingdom, we have values. Are you getting me? And it is not within the jurisdiction of that kingdom. Many of you are saying, I beg, Jare, they'll be social. Just go, will you die? This is what we are saying. You are not convinced enough. That's why you are ashamed of it. Anything you are ashamed of has not become a solid revelation to you. Is that true? So is this word becoming spirit and life? Have you been applying it? Did you apply it last week? Did it work for you? Hallelujah. If somebody looks at my sister right now and says, you're a very stupid girl. And maybe three years ago, she would just remove her shoe while he's talking and use the heel of the shoe and wipe the guy's face and say, this is how stupid people behave. You see, that, that would have been the way she would behave. But right now, there is a value system. You are higher than this person in understanding. There is a fellowship you have come into that grants you access to behave like Jesus Christ. And based on that understanding, the truth is you are human, so you will be angry. But a scripture from the treasury of the deposit you have made in your spirit be angry and do not sin do not let the sun go down while you are still angry that scripture now ministers to you at that point and you can look at the person and just say god bless you and the person is wondering hallelujah or that you see another brother who is just broke and suffering but you know this guy's destiny is going to change it's just that it won't change immediately the word is working and they send some money for you and you remember that the bible says be good to all men especially to they that are of the household of faith and you have submitted to that word and based on that revelation without supervision you must not come and give a testimony and say i help this brother this is to let you know that i am making progress i'm applying what i'm being taught no not necessarily but that you can come to this brother and say my brother I decided to buy you one tier of rice, one tier of beans, one tier of gari. Let it help you. I know the word of God is working. And by grace, I've been privileged to receive some supply and I'm helping you with it. Listen, brothers and sisters, if people see you and they do not see the difference between you and them, you are not a real Christian. And that difference is not tongues. That difference is not revelation. That difference is a culture it's an it's an atmosphere it's a lifestyle it's a walking you have become so solid when you joke you joke the word when you talk you talk the word whatever it is even when no matter how boring you sound you have no option you are being reprogrammed and you cannot undo it this is what you must become some of you still use all kinds of bad languages you have sat down here for over two years you didn't delete them. You only created a folder for them. And when opportunity, because then in this Nigeria, you need these folders. When there is need, you dust it and bring it out and keep people where they belong. No. Hallelujah. There are many of you who do not read your Bibles and you have never tried to. There is nothing wrong when you have a spiritual predicament. The problem is if you do not even know it is a problem and you are doing it and you are not making any efforts about it. Hallelujah. 
So are you following what I'm saying? If after all of these meetings now, and then this lady comes, she has two boyfriends somewhere. One is to supply, to bring supply beginning of the month. This one, the middle of the month. Then the real one that she's going to marry, that she uses their money to help and support. And she says, wisdom, even God. Knows. You see, see, look, look at me. Listen, listen, please. I'm not laughing. Listen. Let me tell you something. If you truly want to be a Christian, be a Christian. Are you getting my point? If you think you are going to play pranks and tricks, I want to tell you something. The Bible says, do not be deceived. Is that in your Bible? It said, God cannot be mocked. That means if, if you don't receive the recompense of that mindset, you have mocked God. And the Bible says, God cannot be mocked. Praise the Lord. Some of you have been giving bad advices to friends. Every time there is a need to do something bad, you are the one they consult. Bible study, they don't consult you. Prayer, they don't consult you. Should we go for night vigil or not? They don't even meet you. But when there is trouble and you want to corner something, they say, go and meet this person. They will arrange everything for you. There are some of you, you are like that. The way they look at you, you just look like a crook. When they want to do anything shady, they just say, oh yeah, come, tell that guy he's five. You say, oh yeah, I know how to do it. See, you must, you must change and let people, the Bible says, let your light so shine, not before angels, before men, that they may see. The Bible wants men to see. So are you being changed? Is your mindset being changed? There are some of you that are nursing a lot of unforgiveness and bitterness against your loved ones. In spite of the teaching, we have shouted teaching on rapture, we taught on air time. What do you want us to say again to change your mind? Hallelujah. Some of you, even if we say Jesus Christ is coming tomorrow, you won't change. You say me. When, when Jesus comes, we will settle this issue. Whereas you know that that thing is just a cultural belief. When Jesus comes, he doesn't have time to waste on frivolities. You are going to hell or you are going to heaven. Full stop. Hallelujah. Are you being changed? That when they are doing malpractice somewhere, you know that you know how much you will do this malpractice and how it can help you. But you are constrained by your love for God. And you say, I'd rather fail honorably than do this malpractice. I know that there are many of us, you are looking at me, you are just saying, just keep talking, finish sharing the grace, let's get out of here. I know what I will believe and I know what I will not believe. Hallelujah. So if the word of God is not changing you, such that unbelievers can begin to testify that there is really something about your life. A guy just walks into your room, wants to sleep with you and say, I don't like it. What is the meaning of that? Oh, I don't do this. Oh, I'm not, I don't, I don't like things like this. You know, the, the way I am. See, I don't want to be pregnant. Is that the reason why you are afraid? Or there is more? Praise the Lord. You sit down and you watch a film, a pornographic film. You say, I'm an adult. Please, don't, nobody should make me a child. And you finish watching that film and you cannot look at the ladies around you and go in peace. You are now praying, fasting, saying, oh God, help. The time you would have been using, building in your spiritual life, you just scattered the foundation and you have to start again. Praise the Lord. There are some of us who are together and you see a lot of friends. They come with their car, whether their father's car or whoever. And they say, ah, bros, are you going? They are calling you bros. And they are calling you to go and do something that is not of the kingdom. And the pressure is mounting on you. They are saying, hi, you now. Wow. And the thing is pinching you. They are saying, okay, but I will come. I won't drink. I won't smoke. Can't you say no? The Bible says the grace of God has appeared unto all men. Teaching us to say no. Are you convinced that this word can make you a leader and it can make you a great person? Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. If we are achieving this, then I know that we are making progress. But if we are not achieving this, then sincerely speaking, before men, ministry may be moving. But before God, there is little effect that is, is being created. Hallelujah. Let your conviction about spiritual things be strong. I love the lady that said they brought somebody that was dead or dying and she laid, she laid hands on the person. Some of you will join in the shout, hey, hey, at least try. If you try and it doesn't work, no problem. But let it be that among the 12 people who were lamenting, you took a step and it didn't work, no problem. God will honor you for launching out to take that step. Some of you, when you want to pray, they tell you, please, oh, this is not the issue of prayer. Because you have not been doing it. When did you suddenly become a man of God? It has not been your lifestyle. You talk the way they talk. You do everything. Suddenly, you remember one koinonia message. You drank with them yesterday. Now you want to lay hands and they say, for what? I'd rather lay hands than you. We drank together. Be different. Be different. So different that you are noted for certain things about the kingdom. And when there is a need to do certain things as far as the kingdom of God is concerned, you become the reference point. This is transformation. And this is what this teaching is all about. And then at that point, God will empower you to demonstrate the reality of that kingdom. You will manifest wisdom that is beyond the comprehension of men. God will bless you. Every time people see you, they know you are a leader. You must not have PAs and people following you. No. There is a culture. There is a way of behavior. They are sharing food. Somebody gets, somebody is very hungry. And you are not so hungry. And that's the last meal. And the Holy Spirit says, give the person. And you are looking. You are saying, no, I'm not giving any. I came, I got my, you know, all these kinds of things. Bless you. While you are seated, you are going to pray in one minute and say, Lord, I don't want to waste my time. I truly want to see transformation in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I do not just want to waste my time listening to Rema upon Rema, learning, learning all the cliches, learning all the powerful words, learning all the vocabularies, creating a form of religion without a sincere passion there are many of us who attend at least three or four programs every week but the fruit of the transformation is not evident in our lives we still talk the way we used to talk we still behave the way we still behave there is nothing that shows that there is a culture of the kingdom working in us Ancient words ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts, oh, and the ancient words in power. Ancient words. Ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words in one more time. Ancient words ever true. Changing me and changing you, we have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words impart. We have come with 
Koinonia is about change. The symbol of koinonia in a man's life is change. Transformation. 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 Let there be change. Hallelujah. I'm going to teach tonight briefly and then we'll pray. And voice of his presence. And voice of his presence. Praise the bread of life. Emmanuel. God with us. The one who saves. Praise the cup of life, that glorious spring that washes our sins away. And voice of his presence. Matthew 5. Help us, Spirit of the Living God. He's the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. You're the Holy Ghost, Scepter of the King of Kings. You're the Holy Ghost, Seal of the Age. And voice of his presence. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Zibala kusa tapala daba. All through scripture, we see that God's idea of the church or the believer has been to create an envoy that will communicate certain things that are in the mind of the spirit to the human race for every season hallelujah an envoy is is the highest governmental representative it's a governmental representative that is sent on behalf of a government on a mission an assignment hallelujah if we need to send certain people one of our brothers is getting married tomorrow and we're sending a few people they are envoys hallelujah whatever we stand to represent is what we want to see them promote there if we have a gift for the couple what happens we give them the gift and we trust them with that gift hallelujah with an assignment to go and deliver that gift hallelujah and there are certain people that God has anointed to be envoys of his presence. Carriers, distributors to infect territories with the presence of God. The power, the culture of the kingdom. Hallelujah. And tonight we are going to explore that understanding. Say after me, I am an envoy. Say it, I am an envoy. A representative I'm an ambassador mean it from your heart say I am an envoy hallelujah Matthew 5 Jesus himself taught us this in chapter 5 from verse 13 he said ye are the salt of the earth but if the salt has lost its savour, with what shall it be salted he said it is thereafter good for nothing 
but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ready? 14. One to read. Ye are the light of the world. Stop. He said, I am sending you as an envoy into a system that is characterized by darkness. Darkness in scripture talks of confusion, talks of death, talks of sin. Whatever does not have the charisma of God in it is darkness. And the Bible says, ye are the light. It didn't say you have the light. It said you are the light. Hallelujah. You are a city that is set not like a city. You are a city. You are being elevated upon a hill. He said you cannot be hidden. A Christian, a walking Christian, is not just one who has given his life to Jesus Christ. It's not just one who prays in tongues. It's not just one who is in ministry. It's not just one who avoids sin great all of these things are great it's not even just ones who have rema no a christian is one who has taken the mandate of the kingdom as a personal responsibility he has come into the understanding that he's not just a son he's not just a servant he is an envoy he has come into a place of kingdom responsibility that not only have we received of God, but we have been mandated to deliver something. Hallelujah. End voice of his presence. When Jesus walked upon the earth, the Bible says, we beheld his glory as of the one of the only begotten. The Bible says he was full of grace and truth. And everywhere he went, the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost. Is that true? And with power. And he went about doing what? He was an envoy of the goodness of God. Because God was with him. He carried the divine presence of God. And he demonstrated the reality of that divine presence. He had a culture. The Bible says every time he taught, men were astonished. They said, what wisdom is this? What authority is this? We have not seen this in this fashion. Hallelujah. When Jesus walked to you and you were sick, there will be a dramatic demonstration of the revelation of the kingdom. He went to Bethesda and saw a man who had lain there 38 years. The Bible says he looked at him and he said uh, what did he even tell him what was the question again he said do you want that i'll make you whole and he said there is no man that would help me as soon as i want to move to the to the to the to the waters somebody else will jump into it and listen look at an envoy he said no problem in other words all this your grumbling is not necessary i have come share up he said pick up your bed and go one minute a problem of 38 years dissolved in one minute. That is the character of an envoy. He steps into a place and begins to legislate on me. No grammar, no long story, the reality of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Charles and Francis Hunter of blessed memory. Great men and women of God. One time they had so much of the presence of God upon them. They entered a meeting and there were people on wheelchairs and they start. They, they didn't even tell any story. No prayer, no nothing. They brought an atmosphere and a culture and they demonstrated it flawlessly. 100 people, they lifted them out of the wheelchair. 100. End voice of his presence. Hallelujah. When Naaman was afflicted, the Bible tells us in 2 Kings chapter 5 that Naaman was the captain of, 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 of Syria. He was a great and mighty man. The Bible says, but he was leprous. And on account of his leprosy, when they came and fought the nation of Israel, the Bible says they took a little slave girl. Is that true? And in the passage of time, there was one strange envoy who was a seer who does not just go out anyhow. The Bible called him Elisha. Hallelujah. And the little girl told the captain, he said, oh, that you would just follow me. There is somebody I know who can help you. 
And the man sluggishly said, are you serious? You don't know my situation. Hallelujah. And cut the long story short, they met the king. And listen, when the king was afraid, nobody told Elisha that the man, Elisha was watching like a television from his room. And he said, quickly, tell the king, why is your heart casted? Let him come and know that there is an envoy, that there is a prophet. This land is not barren. There are ambassadors who are alive and strong who will not let the powers of darkness lord it over people. God did not leave himself across this territory without a witness. He said, send him to come. And when he came, Elijah did not even go out. He sent Gehazi. He said, go and tell him it's a simple case. Go and wash seven times and go back free. Ah, that simple, an envoy is speaking. There is a backing behind him. Hallelujah. One time there was scarcity and Jesus, listen, Jesus was trying to teach the disciples the mindset of being envoys. And when the people had not eaten, Jesus looked at the disciples. He said, go and give them food. Come on now, Jesus. Ah, the disciples said, no, this is not part of our ministry. Our ministry here is to help you. Don't disgrace us here. There is no food. These people are plenty. Jesus was teaching them something. He said, every time you see people think of dispensing, don't just think of receiving you are an envoy wherever you go go as light study the terrain of darkness and solve the problem don't join in the sympathy hallelujah are you getting blessed tonight that you are an envoy of his presence god has mandated you with an unction with an anointing your rema will not help the world until there is a demonstration of the practical reality of the fact that god lives in a man and the apostle calls it the mystery of godliness that god can dwell in a man such that you see an ordinary man but he's not just ordinary he's carrying a backing that this earth cannot speak the man tells you you are blessed and all the forces of nature align themselves and make that word come to pass that's an envoy hallelujah there are many of our homes listen to me that are under demonic yokes there are many of our family members that if no one arises to help them they will die you are that envoy God seeks envoys that he will send to different territories. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I've had the privilege of counseling people week after week. And oh, what joy fills my heart. The moment the people begin to come one by one, I am conscious of the fact that I am an envoy. And you see them coming and crying. Oh man of God, the devil has oppressed us. And I tell them, cheer up. I don't tell them, cheer up as stories. I don't tell them, cheer up as many men of God. Just comfort people without result. They say, don't worry. Uh, our Lord and God, no envoy. There is nothing that shows that you are an envoy. Darkness comes and the person goes back with that darkness. We must contend for levels where if men meet you just once, they will know they met an ambassador. Don't get emotional about this message and not do anything about it. Hallelujah. The family came to me for counseling. One of their sons had given the family a very big problem. And when they came, I told them, I said, it's okay, this is the devil here. Hallelujah. In less than one minute, the devil is casted out. I prophesy blessings to the family. It was not up to two days their father bought a new car. An envoy. This is not trial and error. You have become a portal for heaven to find expression at every given time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do you believe that there is a dimension of kingdom assignment? That has been committed unto you.
to be a demonstrator of the presence, the reality, the culture, the life of the kingdom. I vowed to God and I cried years ago and I still cried. I said, Lord, I don't want to be those many preachers with rema that cannot be defended. As a student, before you graduate, there's something called defense. All the stories you have been talking, you are going to stand and say it before people that matter. Is that true? They are going to give you a topic that you think validates you for graduation. Oh, Jesus is this, the same yesterday, today, and forever. He can do this, he can do that. And they bring somebody oppressed and you're just looking and wondering. This is why we teach you these things. So that you'll be equipped. Oh, I've had testimonies of many of our people and I've been so blessed. The destruction they are doing to the kingdom of darkness in their spheres. Some of them just went home. They had been waiting. This strike, as bad as it is, has given an opportunity for some people to arrange Satan in their family once and for all. They went home as envoys. Hallelujah. The koinonia teachings that we send by the Spirit of God, they go as envoys of power. Envoys of the presence of God. That's why a lot of people have been touched that we may never see. While we are sleeping, the Bible says, Abel, though dead, yet speak it. For as long as the jurisdiction of our Christianity is just to receive, get blessed, find a life partner, be very happy, get breakthrough, we will never be relevant as far as the advancement of God's kingdom is concerned. Are you listening to me? Unfortunately, this is what the congregation of the Nigerian church is predominantly made of. People who come to God with numerous problems, God solves the problem and they don't want any kingdom responsibility again. All they want is to sit down and let a great man of God keep displaying the anointing, keep doing everything and the people keep sitting there. Are you going to church? Yes, I'm going to church. You go. No. See, listen, brothers and sisters, no matter how much we love people, not everybody in this city is going to be able to come here. Are you getting me? Is that true? No matter how we love people, there are many people. Sometimes people send us messages and say, I wish, I wish that Koinonia will come and have a program or will have a program somewhere. And I tell them, who gave you our number? And they now say, oh, a brother somewhere. I say, go and tell that person to pray for you. Hallelujah. Take the step and fail honorably. God will bless you. If you are ashamed and embarrassed because of your ego, forget about being a champion in the kingdom. Many of you, this is what is stopping us. Hallelujah. My own blood sister did not have a job for a long time. I knew that this thing was demonic. I just have not been home for a very long time. And when I was going home, I, I, I had the opportunity to meet her and I prayed with her. I told her, I said, she was trying to give me explanation. I said, don't worry. The explanations are not necessary. Believe me, I know what the problem is. And I prayed for her. And that was the end of it. Praise the Lord. She got a job in Benway State. When can you look at somebody, a barren woman, and say, Madam, you are trying to come for Koinonia. They are not around, but they have been teaching us this thing. And Madam, will you allow me to pray? She will look at you and say, please, I want Josh. Please. I know what, I'm, I'm serious about this child. I'm not playing here. Don't come and play with my womb. No. You say, Madam, just allow me pray. And you stand and say, Lord, you are real. And I want you to demonstrate the reality of your kingdom. Some of you say, what if she doesn't give birth? Did you collect money? Did you collect money? You get into trouble if you collected money. Did you collect money? It's just say, Madam, let me pray for you. And some of you, for the first time, as you lay hands on the people, suddenly you will see a demonstration of the kingdom. And the person comes back and says, I have not slept in one week. That simple word you said, be healed. I have been sleeping like a baby. And then you know that the kingdom has come in that environment. This has nothing to do with MOG. Are you getting my point? It should be your default life. 
Do you believe what I'm saying? Look at your loved ones. Brothers and sisters, please look at me. There are some of you in your families, there is nobody who is born again. Be honest with me. Is that true? You are the first person God brought out. Who do you think will go and change them? Somebody else? There are many of you, there are forces of witchcraft. I went for a program and when they finished the program, some people just ran to me while I was counseling. And they told me that their mother just broke her leg. Immediately the mother broke the leg. Some of the neighbors, they said, oh yeah, get chicken. Get chicken quick. I said, what is chicken having to do with this broken leg? They said, if you want this leg to heal, get chicken quick. I remember one time my mother hit, um, I think she, I, I don't know what happened. She hit, uh, is it a goat or something? And people, hey, stop. Say she look for one naira. She must look for one naira or something and put in the mouth of the, of the, 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 the bed or the goat or whatever. Say if you don't do it, ha. A time came, they came to dig a well in our house. They said, sir, we are finished. We need chicken. There's a way we do it for water to come out. You are the envoy that will stop that nonsense in your territory. A bishop in this country, a bishop in this country, baths his children with blood before giving them out for marriage. And one of his daughters called me one time and said, this thing happened to my elder sister. I know what is happening in their house now. The lady cannot give birth. What is all these things? And they want to do it. Bishop! And the man told her, you better come. Oh, this thing has been like that. That there are some people that are doing traditional Christianity. I hope you, you, you are. They are. They are born again, but enter their room. There's one ancient arrow that they gave them. And one jazz that they put in the bowl, and some candles, eh? and some ropes. They don't use them, but they have kept them. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. They know how to go and pull it out. Many families have not totally divorced themselves from a lot of tradocultural things. There are still all kinds of witchcraft festivals and cultural activities that happen in our homes people are happy they are comfortable all kinds of devilish sacrifices are given you are that envoy that god is raising listen until your your christianity begins to confront the gates of hell you are still joking if your christianity has not yet begun to pose a threat to the gate of hell then you are still playing there are some of us ladies here, nobody in your family gets married. Will you not be the first person to say, not only will I break that, I will break it first from my life and go back and release everyone that belongs to me from that captivity. Some of us is the cause of poverty. Right from wherever it has come, to, even if you get job in presidency, you won't be able to buy a bicycle. Why you will not explain because there are all kinds of yokes. Hallelujah. And God is empowering you and sending you. Everywhere the Lord grants me the opportunity to go and minister. Every time it's time for the ministration, I just begin to feel happy for that ministry and that territory because I am coming as an envoy. I know that there is a government that backs me and they that with me are mighty and strong. everywhere the bible says he went he was doing good have you been doing good please listen to me and take it seriously jesus said you are the light of the world a city that is set on a hill say i am an envoy say it i'm an ambassador i have a mandate to take the presence the culture and the life of heaven to every sphere of influence if you are not doing this then you are not advancing the kingdom now look at me i want to show you a very big key and then we'll pray there are some of you that may say sir but sincerely i have been taking steps it's just that it has not been working how many of you belong to that category tell the truth you have been taking steps don't raise your hand if you have not taken any step 
I took a step. I was bold. I made an audacious statement at home. I had to go back and cover my head with blanket. Don't be ashamed. How many of us are in that category? You've taken steps. At least you've said something. You prayed for somebody. Nothing happened. But at least you did something. Let me see your hands. Listen to what I'm about to show you because you will be very surprised. I want to activate something right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen. Please look up. It's one thing to know that you are an envoy of the kingdom. It's another thing to understand the keys that govern the release of God's presence and God's power. I have seen anointed men of God get frustrated when it comes to the point of demonstrating what they teach. When it comes to Bible studies, when it comes to sharing the word, talk is cheap. But when it comes to walking in the reality and bringing men into that experience, this is where a lot of people become powerless. Why is this so? Because if the kingdom of God is all about sharing and teaching, there are some of us right now, there is even no need to be pursuing again because honestly, God has opened our eyes to deep things. But there is nothing as frustrating as talking without authority to work in present tense consistently and continually. You come and say, every power in this place, we are going to pray. There are demons keeping people down and you are going to be released. And then at the end of it, you say, all right, I, I hope that this message blessed you. I hope you were motivated and challenged. And the sister said, ah, what about the oppression? You have been making me rejoice. Hallelujah. Or the man of God sees somebody on wheelchair and just dodges as if he didn't see the person. He say yes, what did you even say is your problem? He say my own is headache. He say come power. Brother, we must contend. Listen, we have not all arrived there, but there should be a, a passion in our heart that we will not stop until we get there. Can I tell you something? One demonstration of the reality of the kingdom will solve 20 or millions of talk. There, there are too much talkatives in the body. Habalists don't talk too much. They demonstrate. Is that true? A priest can be in a city. He cannot even speak very well. Yet the ripple effect of his influence and his presence is being felt. You do anything without inviting him, you will fail woefully. And then the failure will make you to come and visit him. And you say it's not done this way. With this little lesson, let it be known to you that I may be in this coven, but I'm more influential than your community leaders many of us are looking for pulpit for people to feel the effect Jesus did not have a pulpit Stephen did not have a pulpit they had presence everybody say presence you don't need a pulpit to let people see the power and the glory of God you don't need a ministry a title what you need is an undeniable presence that principalities and powers must submit to I don't know if the woman is in this place but just permit me to share a bit of the testimony a woman came to me for counseling and I was surprised I've heard about this but I've never seen it one on one hallelujah a woman who came for counseling who gave birth to a baby it was a still birth but the baby came out with the face of a monkey and the body of a human being Welcome to planet earth where everything is possible. Why is it possible? Because there is God, there is Satan. Both are real and are walking. You are the only one who is left. You are not walking. Where that kind of evil can happen, that a spirit can create an imprint of itself and it will materialize in this realm. Where are the envoys? Where are the envoys that are represented across families? The Bible says... That in some in some 82 it was a summoning god was summoning the mighty men he said the lord stands in the congregation of the mighty he had to call them and say what is going on 
He said, you have allowed the earth. You know not, neither do they understand. He says, so they grope in darkness. The earth is out of course. Where are the people who are supposed to bring order to the earth? He said, have I not said ye are gods? And all of you are children of the most high. He said, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes. Where are the envoys? Some of you are only benefiting, getting blessed. The devil comes in, you open the door, he enters our families, wreck the lives of people, and we are just watching. Can't you pray? Where is your prayer language? Where is the grace to lock yourself and say, There is an envoy in this house. There is an envoy. The devil is trying to put your family under some kinds of things give yourself three days prayer and fasting and tell yourself you are contending to release certain things but we have a bunch of lazy Christians who all they want is their personal comfort three days, ah Josh if it was six to twelve I can manage everybody say I'm an envoy say it one more time I'm an envoy Listen, how many members in your family do you want to see the devil finish them before you know God is speaking to you? I'm talking to someone here. How many people in your community are you not seeing the handwriting of Satan everywhere? What are you doing about it? There are families that don't tight and they are dying and envoy. Have you ever gone to tell them, listen, the reason why this thing is not working is you are violating certain principles of the kingdom. If you tell them and they refuse, no problem. The Bible says, how shall they hear until someone be sent, until there is a preacher? Praise the Lord. I refuse to allow the devil have a field day in my family. Hallelujah. These horns that are judging the lives of people, judging destinies. That's why it gives me pleasure to pray for people. I can pray and minister to people with all my heart from morning till night. Because this is what we are anointed for. We are not just anointed to wear suits. We are anointed to do the works of the kingdom. And can I tell you something? This is the mandate of everybody here. To dislodge the gates of hell. I went home and my younger sister was telling me, she said, I've not slept for days. I said, I, I, what is all this one with my younger sister? And I prayed for her. I gave her communion to go and take. She said, as soon as she took that communion, she slept in a way she has not slept in a long time. I said, this is a signature to principalities and powers. He's in Joss. Trace him with a spiritual GPS. He has come to Joss. That means the powers of darkness must bow. There are many of us that need to stand and say, wherever I go, the presence of God is there. And because the presence of God is there, there must be order in that place. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He is able, more than able, to accomplish what concerns me today? He is able, more than able, to handle everything that comes my way. He is able. He is able, he is more than able. He's able to make me what he wants me to do. Now look up. I want to show you a very powerful key. For years, I prayed for people with certain sicknesses and infirmity. And I found out that these people were not just healed. 
There were others that were healed. God was seen breakthrough here and there, but there seemed like there were certain situations that would not bow. Every time I was praying for the people, I felt helpless myself. You know, there's a way you can pray for somebody, you know that nothing really happened. It's just that if you want to lie to yourself. There's a way you lay hands and you are praying for somebody. At the end of the prayer, even the person is looking at you, you know that nothing really happened. That was the situation. And many preachers can get comfortable and say, after all, I'm doing well. There are ministerial doors opening. But I went to the Lord. I said, Lord, what is wrong? I have seen preachers walk to a sick body in less than one minute. One minute. Hallelujah. I was in a crusade ground when I watched Reinhard Bonke with my own eyes. I was there for six hours. I helped to carry some of the people who were sick because I said I must get this anointing. He casually finished preaching and he took a cup of water and devils were just shaking, waiting for a command. And this guy jokingly, without sweating, blind eyes be open, deaf ears be open, cripples walk. I saw it. It's not that they told me somebody we wield i saw this thing they were lifting the person everybody was trying to touch the person to stand up i joined with my hand i said whether i'm contributing to it or not and this guy stood up and began to walk brothers and sisters it's not that i've never seen cripples walk but let me tell you there is something about coming near a real miracle and verifying it for yourself hallelujah I saw blind eyes open. I saw a lot of things happen. I said, Lord, something is not fair in this equation. And whatever it is, I will go and find out. How can a man casually lean on a pulpit and command eyes to open, command ears to open, and the devil is helpless at his command, and I'm here sweating over certain issues, and they are just not working. That means the problem is not from God. The problem is certainly from our end here. And I went and I began to explore. God wants to answer somebody's question right now. I want to show you a powerful mystery. Never forget it. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 16. Blessed be the name of the Lord. As you open it, just pray in tongues. Sembre do zalaka preta shelaka diana. Arise, shine, your light is come. Ke bata la bakata, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. This is what will happen to somebody this night. You will arise. Your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. You will arise. Your light is come. Tonight God will show you a key. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Prophesy to yourself one more time. I will arise. My light is come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon Sing it one more time. I will arise and shine. Arise. And the glory of the Lord. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Matthew 16. Jesus showed us something powerful. A mighty key that will open you to a door of the demonstration of power and of the miraculous please don't trivialize what you are about to hear let the eyes of someone be open my god let the eyes of someone be open hallelujah listen now look up please verse 13 
When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, listen, Jesus had been walking with his disciples. Let me have two or three disciples. I'm Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, Jesus, follow me. Jesus went everywhere with these people. Is that true? They watched him demonstrate miracles. They saw a lot of things. These guys were amazed. They saw the sea, the waves. They saw the way situations were helpless at the presence of Jesus. And Jesus said, Gentlemen, I always hear you conversing. He said, who do men say that I am? They see this mighty man doing miracles. And I'm sure they have been talking. Some have said he's fake. Some have said this guy may be one Belzebub somewhere. He said, who do they say I am? And the disciples were happy, verse 14. The Bible says that they were so excited because it was a secret question they had been asking themselves. And they said, some say you are John the Baptist. Why? Because John the Baptist had been caught in the prison. And they didn't see him. Some say you are John the Baptist. Some say you are Elijah. Because the Bible says, before the great and terrible day of the Lord, Malachi 4, Elijah, the spirit of prophecy will come. So you are that manifestation of Elijah. And others said, Jeremiah, the weeping prophet, who wrote a lot about the lamentations of, of the spirit of God. He said, oh, you are just one of the prophets. And then he laughed. Now follow me. He said, all right, I have heard what they say. You have walked with me. You have seen me do miracles. You participated. What do you say that I am? Okay, they say I'm a prophet. Fine, they are wrong. But you, you saw the miracle. They said it was fake. But you, you were in Koinonia. You saw the demons. You saw them being casted out. It's not something that you watch on TV that you say it was fake. He said, in light of all that you have seen, what is your conclusion about me? He said, what do you say that I am? Listen. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art Christ. The son of the living God. Next verse. And Jesus said unto him, hmm, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, son of Jonah. He said, for flesh and blood, has, that means this operation is not in the realm of flesh and blood if you ever want to walk in it flesh and blood cannot deliver this dimension of result he said this revelation you've had now it is not by flesh and blood are you getting me flesh and blood has not revealed it to you he said but my father which is in heaven listen peter you know why jesus asked them Jesus needed to ask them to initiate a principle that he was going to teach the body of Christ. Verse 18. He said, And I say unto you, Thou art Peter, listen, and upon this rock, what rock? The rock of the revelation you just caught. What is the revelation? The revelation is the fact that nothing just happens by flesh and blood until there is a spiritual understanding that backs the activity. Upon that revelation, I will build the structure of my church. That means for every time you will perform any activity, there must be a revelation that you build upon. Otherwise, the activity will just be normal. Are you getting this revelation? In other words, listen. I can lay hands, but the realm of the spirit will check. What revelation do I know that activates the power over this activity? If there is no revelation, power will not flow. It's a law in the spirit. Peter, I see that you have gotten a spiritual understanding. It is upon this understanding I will build my church to function. That means whatever they have to do, they will first build on a rock. A revelation must be the platform for any activity to be carried out. Communion without revelation, powerless. Anointing without revelation, powerless. So I can lay hands. I tell you, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost in a very mighty way. Makatabo Shata. 
Zekete rata Mambro doso beka Areke talata poka Reposho to bariata He said I will build my church Upon a revelation When you get this revelation You will step into a realm Where you become an envoy Listen 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 to me The Bible says A time came When Peter, James and John Who became the pillars of the church They went with Jesus Is that true? To the Mount of Transfiguration And the Bible says Listen We were going to see the practical demonstration of that scripture The Bible says They brought an epileptic patient Everybody watch Come sir They brought an epileptic patient Now it was the turn of the disciples to heal is that true the bible says they kept doing everything that jesus did exactly but nothing happened is that in your bible they did exactly they saw jesus doing everything they did it the guy didn't get healed and when jesus came down with three of the disciples he saw his disciples struggling. That was what grieved his heart. He said, until now, because he knew it was a law, it would have happened without him anyway. And the Bible says, he looked at the boy. He says, since when did he have this condition? And he says, since he was a child, he throws him into the fire, throws him into whatever. And he said, I believe, help thou my unbelief, the father said. And the Bible says, Jesus rebuked a deaf and dumb spirit out of him. And the Bible says, the guy was manifesting like you always see here and fell as though he was dead. People thought he was dead. And they picked him up and he got up, he was sound. The disciple said, in one minute, we did the same thing. What did you do differently? Is it not the rebuking? We also rebuked. We rebuked him. We were tired. Power did not flow. I'm showing you the key. Why you have not been seeing the move of God. It's not about cramming the words I use. You will say the same thing and not see anything. There is a secret. Hallelujah. Many people think it's about talking like the man of God. Or dressing like the man of God or reciting what the man of God is saying that will not bring power brothers and sisters when Jesus did that and the demons obeyed him the disciples went and met Jesus listen the disciples say ah, ah, why couldn't we cast out this? see when you are studying your Bible when you see Jesus about to reveal something pay attention the disciples were asking why they could not do these things and Jesus said because of your unbelief very simple like that because of your unbelief then he says however this kind goeth not but by fasting and prayer hold on so he told them the problem was unbelief and he told them to remedy unbelief part of the spiritual activities that will happen is fasting and prayer when you fast and pray something happens in your spirit that brings you to a position where you can now believe listen just follow me i want to establish something very very powerfully when jesus did that listen a time came when jesus now said all right guys i have tested you a while he said go in my name go not everywhere but to the lost ship of israel go two by two listen now it was their turn the Bible says they went. They were all fidgeting. And they now looked at somebody and said, in Jesus' name. Suddenly, they saw the demon obey. They said, ah, this thing is working. Oh. They tried it again. They saw that it worked. They didn't even know what was happening. And the Bible says they returned rejoicing and said, finally, even they said, even the demons were subject to us in thy name. Jesus said, uh-uh, you have not gotten the point. Don't just rejoice that demons are subject to you. Rejoice because your name is, you know, is written in heaven and so on and so forth. And then a time came, listen, Jesus said, as my father has sent me, 
he said so send i you hold on it's not just saying nature there was a way i walked in the earth there was something that made those miracles to happen he said now i speak that let there be access to you to walk in those dimensions so that you'll be able to see those miracles that means listen please for every time you carry out a spiritual activity and it works let me tell you what happens in the spirit there is a system in the realm of the spirit that cross checks whether you understand what you were doing or not if there is no revelation that backs that activity power will not flow are you getting my point the sons of skiva they call that man they say we adore you the demon said not so i am seeing you in the spirit your house is built on sand where is the rock upon which this laying on of hands is built upon i do not see any revelation for that reason i will not go listen brothers and sisters do you know the power of this communion that we take people just take communion oh he's blessed and we take and nothing happens but the day you step into the revelation of what it can do the power of God will change that communion to the literal blood and body of Jesus Christ and it will answer in your body at once there are many Christians trying to do spiritual motions without revelation and the bible told us about those people it said there were two people that built one built on a revelation a rock is that true another built on sand he was just building on religion the bible says now the wind came and tested it and the one who was built upon a rock revelation there was he was not just giving for nothing he was not just tithing for nothing there was an insight in the spirit that makes him to carry out that activity so i don't just pray in tongues because i'm seeing prayer band pray i'm praying on a rock there is a revelation i have come to know what prayer can do so every time i pray power flows through that revelation to edify my spirit and produce results this is why the prayer life of many Christians is, is not working. They humiliate themselves, pray for hours, and wonder why things don't happen. What rock have you been laying hands on the sick upon? What is the revelation that granted you access? Based on what did you prophesy to that brother? and say in the name of jesus doors open what was the rock that supported that prophecy hallelujah when david was about to defeat goliath he knew that he cannot make empty noise and he said you come to me with your spares but i come to you in a name there is a name i know there is a covenant i have there is a revelation david and goliath on account of my covenant with jehovah i will take off your head and i know the power will flow and god said that is it you have gotten the equation now you bring out the sling how can an ordinary sling kill a man a revelation produce power envoys of power this is why you see all these things that are happening happening it will happen every time forever it's like a switch when you know how to turn it on you become an infant of fire so you enter anywhere you are an envoy you know how to compel powers to bow you know what to say to make them answer you you know what to say to make them leave you know what to say to dislodge the powers of darkness There is something you must know there are many preachers who preach they listen to a man of god's revelation they copied it and they are pasting it they preach a message that is supposed to bring healing but healing does not happen they preach a message that should bring breakthrough but breakthrough does not happen take your place 
Take your place. 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 Call his name, Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Hallelujah. Hear me. When I caught this revelation, I was excited. And the first time we had the opportunity to organize our crusade as a ministry, it was now the time to put this in practical proof. Hallelujah. And in that crusade ground, there were sick people. There were all kinds of oppressed people. And when we began to see the power and the glory of God, I said this thing works it's not a lie the fault is not from God there is a fountain you can become a walking dispenser of the kingdom a dispenser of power when men shake you something will happen in your life because you are full of the word for everything there is a revelation even when you shake people you know that you are a blessing so that revelation will force something to get into them this may be the missing link behind your praying for the sick you have laid hands but you are just copying light has not come upon you there is no unction that supports what you are doing Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. of your soul signs 
shall follow them that believe and these signs shall follow them not him them them a congregation a people who believe god enough to know that he's not playing when he says all power belongs to him he means it we are going to pray i like you to pray and say lord do something in my spirit that will cause light to enter me i want to begin to see fruits come on now pray Koinonia, this is not how you pray. I want to see prayer warriors. I want to see men of prayer. When you carry out spiritual activities with revelation, it will walk. Blind eyes will open. Blind ears will open. You will see people walk. You will see the dead raised. You will see breakthrough. The kingdom will come. Every demon power, hear me, every power, every yoke, right now, in the name of Jesus, come out of God's people, right now, come out, come out, come out, now, every force, every yoke, every spell, inside and outside, I challenge you, go go, I command you every yoke that has tied you down, every yoke that has tied your family down, every curse, every protection, pray, pray. Pray. There is power hey. when you pray. There is fire when you pray. Envoys of power, envoys of grace, men of dexterity, men of authority, men of audacity, confronting grace, confronting territory, without fear. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to pray for you. What many of us need 
is an unction from the Lord that will suddenly make the things you read become alive. It's a spirit. It's called the spirit of revelation. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I want you to receive it inside and outside with all your heart. It's time for you to begin to walk as an ambassador. Hallelujah. I'm going to count three. And at the count of three, I'd like you to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout, something will come upon your life. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take it. 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 Receive it. The spirit of revelation. Outside. Take it. Outside. Let it come like fire. Eyes be open. Yes. Be open. Let the spirit of faith come upon you. Take it. Faith to believe. Faith to believe. Faith to believe. Command miracles. Let blind eyes be open. Let deaf ears be open through your hands. Whoever you bless is blessed. Whoever you bless is blessed. When you speak, your words are backed up by an authority that is not of this realm. Your voice will be like the voice of God. Your voice will be like the voice of God. Whatever you stop will stop. Whatever you stop will stop. Whatever you bind is bound. Whatever you lose is loose. man and a woman lovely people they get married and another thing i need to tell you about demons is demons can pacify themselves in the soul of a man for years and decades until the time of manifestation oh that is possible so your mother marries your father and she sees someone else and say this is not the man i married hallelujah and your mother begins to jiss you and say when we're going out your daddy loved me. He used to carry me, even in public. I asked him, I said, wouldn't you be ashamed? He said, for you, what can I not do? But now, now, the way you know that he's there with his wife is you hear a slap. Ah, 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 come and help me. And you see the man fuming. And then later he will calm down as if he's not the one. To the way it used to be. Before your presence. So you see a man of God who is anointed, raising crutches. But when he gets angry, he can kill you with his temper. He's anointed. He's born again. But there are lawful captives. It takes authority in the spirit. It takes, listen, this one is not demon possession. Because you are born again. A believer cannot be possessed. However, you can be influenced from the realm of your mind and soul you can be influenced such that although you are born again you are seeing yourself carrying out the agenda of another ask paul paul said with my body my spirit i serve god but in my body i see another law walking so that the things i want to do this is the apostle speaking i don't find myself doing it the things I don't want to do. There are many people who are, there are men of God suffering from lust and masturbation and all. They can't help it. They are married. They thought the remedy was marriage. They slept with their wife every day. They are still not satisfied. It's a spirit. 98% of issues of barrenness, I tell you the truth, under God. It doesn't matter what form it appeared in. Is the manifestation of these demons and these devils. 
Why? See, we come from an African culture. Don't compare us with the United States. They are about 250 years old. A generation paid the price. They had founding fathers who entered covenants on behalf of the land. So, although they are perverse now, they are still lawfully blessed. Are you seeing it? Individually, they are perverting God. But on account of the legal access that was given to God on behalf of that territory, they still live. What did we inherit? Help me, what did we inherit in Africa? What did your grandfathers do before they died? They left us with all kinds of demonic things. And hear me, the Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Being made a curse for us. Hold on. This is where a lot of people just say, yes, I claim it. But look at their lives. Look at their lives. We are not honest and open to confront things in churches. Because no man wants to be associated with anything messy. You just want to be posh and nice. Unfortunately, let me tell you, if we continue like this, the devil will eat up God's people. And they will not know what is the cause. Hallelujah. Sicknesses you cannot explain. You get up and they say you are SS. I don't believe all those things, first and foremost. I honestly don't believe them. I believe in medical people. I believe that if we get to heaven, there will be a special section where God will bless doctors. One of our ladies in worship team gave birth on Wednesday. Hallelujah. We are very happy. She gave birth to a bouncing baby boy like the Hebrew women. So I went there to go and pray for the child. When I got to the labor, this thing. I said God will punish every child that insults his mother. Hallelujah. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I thought it was blanket. They said, that's the baby. I said, where? <laughs> Hallelujah. I told myself I was going to be free from all of these things. My neighbor had been oppressed. This happened weeks ago. Oppressed with all kinds of things. And one day I got angry. I called her. I said, come. Immediately she stepped into my room. I was looking at her. Suddenly, I now saw the spirit. You see, light is a dangerous thing in the spirit. Suddenly, the woman began to manifest and say all kinds of things. And now I prayed for her and that was it. The very next day, her brother from London called and said, I cannot tell what is wrong. I can't sleep. Come and take to so amount. Start business. Book flight for her to and fro. Do you know the devil is behind the predicaments of many families? But we laugh about it. We come to church. By this seed, I provoke the heavens. Wonderful. But if that's all you are going to do, I assure you, there's real trouble waiting. I know many people will not like me. It's not today. I've, I've had, I've, I'm tired of all of these things. But let me tell you the truth. You see, I vow that I must teach God's people the truth and set them free. I pray for people every day. Every day. This is not something I read in Bible college. This is a pragmatic experience. I have prayed for preachers and men of God, tongue-talking, filled with the Holy Ghost. A great man of God came to introduce his fiance to me. When they came, happily, he came and I was just praying for him that God would bless him. The next thing, wonderful, lovely lady. Just prayed for her and there, the demons began to shout. Say, why have you come to disturb us? Called my name, Joshua Selman. I said, that's right, Jesus I know. Paul I know. Add me to that list. You better do so. Come on now. If your life does not threaten darkness, you are not born again. Hallelujah. And I prayed for the lady. And the demon spirit was shouting and saying the plan was to keep quiet until they put that ring and they get married. Well, that's your cup of tea, please. 
go out. See, demon spirits don't just leave. 90% of the people I pray for, you hear the demon spirit say she is mine, or he is mine, or they are mine. Lawful captives. They are trying to speak scripture to you. But then you let them know that this is Good Friday. Come on. This was the Friday Jesus said it is finished. It is finished. It is finished. It is finished. I believe it. Satan will not just live until you let him live. When the spirit that is sponsoring that growth or that cancer is taken away, it will die. Simple and straight. When the spirit holding that womb gives way, it's just that many people are not humble enough. Especially for women of God. It takes a lot of humility, you see. When I saw that there was something wrong in my life, I didn't keep quiet and say, great man of God. Ah, ah. I told myself, Satan, you've had enough. Hallelujah. One day I heard that my sister carried axe and followed my brother. I said, no way. What did I say? Say it again. No way. And then you do something about it. Because that's how one day a wife will carry axe. You say, I've been watching you. A nice and soft lady. You even gave her a name because she's soft. Men of God like healing. Oh, just be healed. And then people fall down. The fact that someone fell down did not mean that he got healed. It's just that many people cannot talk. Because if you talk, they say, where is your faith? Look, let me tell you something. Faith is not foolishness. The end of faith is manifestation. They've been praying for you for five years. Nothing has happened. The people say, just believe things are working. You better find out what is wrong. You are kicking your car for one week. It didn't on. You say, this car you are on. Go and call the mechanic. Something's wrong with that car. And, and have sense enough to fix the car. And don't delay your life. It is an act of faith to go and call the mechanic. Because you are tired of the condition of that car. If I didn't do anything about my life, I don't know what would have happened. Many of you are here. Your families are nice people. Many people who are prayed for here, sometimes they don't even know. I wish we had time. I would have ministered to everybody one by one, but miracle services cannot afford that. Our time is very short. Nobody's married in your family. All the sisters, no marriage. They are fine, they are virtuous. All the things we've taught, they have it. A lady came one time to come and see me for prayers. When I had the lady talking, suddenly I began to sense the power of God leaving my body. I knew something was wrong. I told her, all right, my dear, come. As soon as she came, a beautiful lady opens the door. The next thing I saw, an old woman of maybe about 150 years entering. That's what I saw. She sat down and I just calmed down. I was saying, God, what is all this nonsense now? And the lady was talking to me and crying from one relationship to the other. Some, even as far as going to do introduction, they've done everything. God will just say, I'm not doing. Why? Don't ask me questions. I'm not doing. Then what happened? When they tell us, they say, provoke with a seed. And the demons help you hold the seed. Now, I believe in the place of seed faith. I believe it. Maybe we'll do it this night. I believe it. Hallelujah. A miracle happened in CGC. There's a man that teaches, I think he gave testimony one day. The wife, the baby was fine. Normal. The next thing they said, I don't know the name of all these ladies thing. I thank God I don't know it. They just said something is wrong, Sean, that um, if they don't handle it well, whatever, these things will not go well. That's all I know. But I know Jesus was doing good. So if I'm representing him, I should do good. I told the man, I said, Where's call your phone. Let's speak to that baby. 
You can't be stubborn from the womb. The Bible says John was filled with the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. Behave! Behave! You are not born yet. You started giving your family members headache. And I spoke to that child. I said, turn to your normal position and come out the way God ordained a child to come out. This is not man of God. This is kingdom authority displayed with understanding. Let me tell you how you will know that there are legal operations of demons in your life. When you have prayed about certain things and fasted about it, come as a family and pray. There are some people that have prayed dry. Dry. A lady is praying against lust. She's on seven days dry fasting. The sixth day she's sleeping with somebody. You need help. Are you listening to me? And the Bible says, then he gave gifts to the body. You see why some people are called gifts? They are not just called gifts because of bragging. That's why God will punish any man of God he gave an anointing. And he's just using it to do every kind of merchandise. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Before your presence came and changed me. Let's round up quickly. So what is our mandate? Luke 10, 19. I love miracle services, I'm telling you. Luke 10, 19. Are you there? Let's read. One to read. Behold, hold on. See, conceive this as a reality in your spirit. Settle it that this is not a lie from God. Behold, I give unto you to tread upon serpents that's what many of you see in your dreams there is a reason god said to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over how many how many all the power of the enemy it says and nothing that's why i cast out devils and sleep like a baby nothing shall by any means hurt you this is another wrong, erroneous teaching that people teach. They say, man of God, when you pray, have some reinforcement. Wake up by 12 o'clock, please go and sleep, for God's sake. If you had enough authority to cast out the devils, what suddenly happened to the authority? This is fear. Another teaching again is this. Look up, please. I now told you, the concept of calling your father or your mother or your brothers and sisters witches is because of men of God. Are you listening to me? And because of erroneous teachings, these men of God or these prophets, they see from the realm of the spirit, these demonic manifestations I'm talking about, either as a result of legal stronghold, the next thing, they say, young lady, your mother is a witch. Either because they saw some demonic things. The Bible says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. The spirit of Christ does not create controversy in homes. Many prophets have come to make certain men leave their wives after three or five children. Say the only solution is to leave. And some of our parents, our families were divorced today because of a so-called revelation from prophets or deliverance people. This is wrong. The spirit of Christ brings love. Every gift that comes from God, every good and perfect gift, the Bible says, comes from above. Hallelujah. So I can look at this sister now. And see an oppression of darkness. Or sometimes, well, I don't talk to demons. Sometimes they don't just keep quiet. Hallelujah. Jesus said they cried out. And sometimes they are just shouting. Oh, it's my mother that did this. And maybe the brother or sister is here. I say, ah, mother. You go back now. Your mother says, come on, darling. How are you? You say, oh, no, no. So you are responsible for my calm down. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. While it is true that certain people can make themselves willing agents of darkness, the real battle is between spiritual wickedness. So you were sleeping and you saw your roommate in some kind of way. You just say, man, his roommate, forget to. I won't eat her food again. I won't drink her water again. I won't do anything. Who is teaching you this kind of thing? The Bible does not teach that. He said they shall drink deadly things and it shall not hurt them. 
Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed tonight? Go and teach others. Because tonight God will do mighty things. So I give you power. Second scripture. Luke 9 verse 1. We'll hurry up. This is the major work we are doing. Those outside say praise the Lord. Everyone read. Luke 9 verse 1. One to read. Then he called his disciples together and gave them power and authority over who? And to he gave them authority. I'd like to announce to you today that the Lord has given us authority. Hallelujah. Yes, he gave us authority. Say, I have authority. And Satan will leave. Afflictions will leave. Incurable diseases will leave. And breakthrough will come. In the name of Jesus. One more scripture and then we are ready to pray. Mark 16 verse 17. I thank my life. Breathe on me. As I look to you for life. I thank my life. Breathe on me. And these signs shall not follow cynical people who are asking rubbish questions this night. Whether or not this is making sense, he said, This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall. That's the first thing you will do as a sign. In my name. See how the Bible deals ruthlessly with Satan. You are not supposed to keep talking. This is the problem I have with deliverance. Everything Satan. No, no, no. But we have a ministry to cast him out of our life. Say the enemy has done this. Can you look at your life and say the enemy has done this? I now see the enemy has done this. The enemy has done this havoc for my sister. The enemy has done this. So that you don't pray and miss. And I have good news for you. Over 2,000 years ago, exactly at this time, Jesus hung upon the cross and he made three powerful words. Eat. Is. Not it was. Not it will be. It. Is. Finished. I like you to prophesy. It. Is. Finished. Affliction is finished. Cancer is finished. HIV is finished. Demonic oppression is finished. That's what the Bible says. Listen. You must announce to principalities and powers that I am born again. The blood of Jesus has made way. You are an illegal occupant. And by faith and the authority of the Lord, I will now enforce that which has been finished on the cross. This is the legal basis of victory. It's not just because you fasted or prayed. Fasting does not change God. It changes you. It's faith that moves God. I fast and pray, but your fasting doesn't do anything to God. It positions you to release your faith for results. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? The legal basis is that the blood of Jesus speaketh better things. Not just that the blood of Cain and Abel, but every other ordinance. The Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. He nailed it to the cross. It's passed. But Satan will refuse until you enforce it by the authority of the Lord Jesus. And this is our job tonight. We have not come to do any new thing. This is what I want to teach you. There's nothing tonight that we are doing that is new. We are only going back to tap the reality from Calvary and make it a present tense reality. This is the Balas gospel of redemption. And one of the greatest persons that has affected my life is the general of God. I cried when he went to be with the Lord. T.L. Osborne. He was one man that demonstrated the reality of the kingdom more than any man I know. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
joblessness, barrenness, delay, stagnation, mental blockage, sicknesses, you name it. We now know the devil that is in charge. But the Bible says for this purpose, God organized koinonia meeting tonight for this purpose that he will annihilate. I vowed unto God, I said, I will never pastor or lead any ministry where there is no demonstration of the superiority of light over darkness. I won't come and teach people about the God who was and say, I remember in 2001, somebody was healed. What is he doing today? Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, the same January miracle service, the same February miracle service. I bring you good news tonight. The Lord is in the house and is here with his full authority. And how nice it is that today is Good Friday. He went about doing good on a Good Friday. He went about doing today is not called Bad Friday. It's called Good Friday. Rise up on your feet and let's charge ourselves in the spirit for a few minutes. Walk around in the next five minutes and begin to prophesy inside and outside. Come on. Come on, walk round and begin to declare. Satan is behind every sickness, every infirmity. Satan is behind poverty. He's behind delays. But today, by the finished work that is in the name of the Lord Jesus, there will be victory tonight. Rapa kata la basata, ma prakata pragede ba, rapa ta prakese pragede, rakata baladaba. Make sure you are praying. Rapo sho prakete lekoto. Hallelujah. Now listen, those of you inside and outside, we just have one minute to pray. I like you to pray like a priest. You're going to say, you're going to pray for yourself and your family, and say, Satan now i know you are responsible and you are going to get out of my life my family my finance my marriage lift your voice and begin to pray you appear as terminal disease but you are a devil of darkness you appear as delay but you are a devil of darkness you appear as barrenness but you are a devil of darkness joblessness Whatever tree has not been planted by our Father, that tree will be uprooted. Pray. Say tonight is my night of deliverance. It's my night of healing. It's my night of emancipation. Enough is enough. Hallelujah. Now look up, please. Everyone look up. So, through territorial influences, Satan can gain grounds over a man's life, although he's born again. The second way Satan gets to influence people is through what I call strongholds of the mind. That's why the Bible says the moment you get born again, the next assignment is to begin to renew your mind. Because look at me. Your mindset is like a door in the realm of the spirit. It can allow the activities of heaven. It can allow the activities of demons. Are you listening to me? So, because of wrong teachings or our society, we have had mindsets that have become strongholds. Permanent gateways. So even when you pray and minister healing and deliverance, what happens? The Bible says when a demon leaves a man, because it is now, it does not have a material body to find expression. It becomes uneasy. After a while, what happens? It says since I've been legally casted, let me now use the mind. And it comes back to check the man. He finds the house swept, clean, but empty. You have not filled yourself with the word and it gathers seven other demons more than itself and it comes back to the man listen this is the problem i have with many deliverance houses they don't concentrate on people getting born again they don't concentrate on people receiving the word they just concentrate on casting out devils so they now cast out devils are you listening to me in a lady who probably does not believe 
that sex before marriage is wrong that's a mindset it has become a stronghold is that correct so the demons will leave but her mindset will bring them back listen when believers are set free they must keep their healing they must keep their breakthrough by doing what building fortification that's why we spend three weeks teaching the word so that when you are set free when you are delivered what happened the word of god builds fortification in you that kind of mindset deliverance is by the word so he sends forth his word and his word heals your mind and delivers you it's not enough just to come for miracle service it's important to participate in all of the services because as we teach what happens you build fortification in the spirit then you get to a point like jesus where satan will come and will not find anything of himself then you now become a deliverer to others he said upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the children of jacob shall possess their possession but not until there is a deliverance upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and a spirit of holiness and then what happens people will begin to possess their possessions tonight satan will return some things he stole ah because the bible says when you catch a thief it's in leviticus when you catch a thief he will say i'm sorry no they didn't hear i'm sorry he will restore sevenfold sevenfold is the minimum hallelujah how many of us are ready to take back some things I'm reaping the harvest God promised me. Take back what the devil stole from me. And I rejoice today. For I shall recover it all. Yes, I rejoice today. Hallelujah. Now, before I begin to minister in the anointing, we're going to pray one prayer. I want you to be honest and open tonight. Listen, listen, we're a family. I truly prayed and cried and wanted you to be free. Listen, you're going to say, Lord, if there is any force of darkness at work in my mind or my life, listen, or my family, I open myself tonight. Let tonight be a separation between me and Egypt forever. I must move forward. You must humble yourself and pray. Are you listening to me? Open your mouth and pray. Everyone. Those outside, pray. The Holy Ghost is everywhere. Taparataparataya. Time up, Satan, over the lives and the destinies of people. We announce an expiry date for you, which is right now. Tonight is Good Friday. Over our lives, Jesus said it is finished. We believe it. Jesus said it is finished. Oh, hallelujah, he's risen. I'm excited, I'm excited. Someone is walking free tonight. I tell you, a door is open tonight. Pray. Pray. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a shout of the king in this house. Come on, help me. You don't know this song. There's a great anointing working. For the spirit of the Lord is here. Spirit have your way.
Alléluia. Alléluia. Ha ba ba la kataya. Now I see the angels of the living God. Please everybody stand. Everybody stand. And when Jesus saw. Oh yes. Oh yes. Gates will be lifted. Ancient door. Inside and outside. Let your faith reach out now. Let your faith reach out now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen. We are going to shout. Just a shout. Listen. Just a shout once. My God. Kabata Kaya. Kapra Dele Kaya. Embrozata Prata Dadaba. Rakata Prosata Libariata. De Kaya Kabam Brastaya. I want all the people out. Ushers, please be effective. Listen, just one shout. I like you to shout it with all your heart. I tell you the truth, devils will be shaken from their foundation. Are you listening to me? No power of darkness will stand the fire power that is in the name of Jesus. Are you ready now? All the instruments together. In the Hebrew, we call this Tehila. It's a shout of praise. Are you ready to shout? After the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> inside and outside now according to the unction and he gave us power i speak to you inside outside territorial spirit i confront you at the count of three you will go you will go i see a mighty deliverance in this row one two three go 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 Go, 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 Bring 
them out. No devil stands. Bring them out. Outside. All of you lift your hands. For there will be a move of the spirit outside. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every power afflicting any life outside by the fire of the Lord be exposed now be exposed now be exposed the fire of the Lord outside the fire of his presence be exposed outside the Puerto Rico day no demon stands every affliction go Outside, 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 the power of God is falling. They took the barricade, they get the crash, the caparia. Outside, the power of God is falling. I see angels, angels, angels move across the ground. Out of her, out of her now, in the name of Jesus, fire upon you now, in the name of Jesus, fire upon you, fire upon you, come out of her now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let her go, 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 go out of her right now, out of her, out of her, come out, come out of her, come out of her. Come out of her. Out of her, come out of her now. Thou foul devil, I see a snake out of her. Come out, fire upon you, fire upon you, fire upon you, fire upon you. Come out of her. Perfect my life. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Must open up. I said your destiny must open up. 
Therefore, every power I speak by an apostolic unction, every demonic force, you are going to shout Jesus once and the power of God will move across. My God, let your fire move. Are you ready? Those outside. One, two, three. Come out, 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 Come out of her. Come out of her. Now. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out of her. Bring them in. 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 Bring Bring that lady. Bring her, bring her. Just look, look at me. Bring her. Come out of her. Out, out, out. Come out. Now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus. Bring that little girl. Look at it. Hold on. Look at a girl. Look at this girl. At this age, look at this little girl. Bring her, please. Shall the captives be taken from the mighty? Come out of her. Out. Out of her now. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus, I bring you the powers of the kingdom. Come out. You shall stay no longer in her life. Take your place. Yeah. Take your place. Your time is up. Thou foul devil. Out of her right now. Fire upon you. Come out right now. Come out right now. Out of her. Come out of her. Come out in the name of Jesus. Take your place. Yeah. Take your place. Take your place. Fire all over this body. Leave her in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Your time in this body is up. Please help me with water. The devil put something. Hold on. You will see this lady now and think what she has in her body is a growth. But it's not a Look at. Look at. I'm using this as an example to teach you something. Take what you have put in her life and go now. Go! In the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. It's time for her destiny to go. Come out by the fiery power. Jesus is Lord over every walk of darkness. They know not, neither do they understand. Excuse me. Lady, look at me. I command you to look at me right now. I'm not speaking to her, I'm speaking to the spirit. He's seeing me. Look at me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that foul devil 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus just lay your hands on her back lay your hands on her back now I command you come and meet me here quickly come and meet me here in the name of Jesus leave that place and come quickly I'm speaking to that foul spirit get up right now and come it's a time of salvation in the name of Jesus since you will not come hello i bring you under the influence of the holy ghost now come here holy ghost bring her by yourself show the superiority of kingdom authority kapadia the pro sosoba rabate liva 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 nobody should hold her come by the power of the holy ghost Many of you do not know how powerful the Holy Spirit is. You will come. It's an instruction in the realm of the Spirit. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies come. Run right now. Get up and run and come here. By the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. No devil stops it. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies I said come and meet me here don't stay there it's time for the lady to go someone has someone has a problem one ear you feel like there's water you practically cannot hear very well with it who is that person who is that person? One ear, you feel like there's water or something. Please, who is that inside or outside? Hurry up, come quickly. You, which of them? It will be open right now. Put your hands there. As I command that deaf and dumb spirit to go. In the name of Jesus, let her go now. Go! Be healed. Mama, salvation has come for you right now. Which of the ears? This one, put your hands there. That devil is a liar. No, just put a finger inside. Go! Go! Come out! Come out of her! Come out of her right now. You are a deaf and dumb spirit. In the name of Jesus, let her go. Go! Go! I set you free. Check it. Check it. Someone check her. What do you feel? No, no, really. I'm free. Look at. My water there again. Look at. Instant miracle. Come. What happened, Mama? What? Look at me. What used to happen before? I'm not. Uh, before I used to feel as if there is water inside. Sometimes I'll be hearing something. Uh, waka inside. But now, not. Look at this. And Jesus casted the devil and the dumb spirit. This is Acts of the Apostles. The Bible says Jesus is the same. Yes? This is an elderly woman. She can't come and stand before you and be telling lies. Madam, you are free forever. What's wrong with her? Both ears? She had moms. So it affected she had her what? moms on her left ears. Moms. So it affected Bond. both. Can she, she can't hear me now. She can't hear the two ears. Put your hands in her ears. Jesus, our deaf and dumb spirit, I curse you over this girl. I curse you over this life right now. of the Lord Jesus. Your reign is gone in the name of Jesus. Someone test them. There's someone. Come, sister, you. Yes, come. I'm 
seen something wrong with your stomach. Lay your hands there. Look at me. Look at me. He will be free right now. Hmm? I bring you life. I bring you healing and perfection in the name of Jesus. Now, all those with any heart conditions, all those with any heart conditions, heart condition of whatever kind, please come out quickly. Just leave these people in front here. Just leave them. Just shift this poopy a bit. And heart condition. Okay. Your ear. Both of them. Both ears. Look at me. Ah, the power of God is going to you. Come out of him now. Now foul them. I open your ears. Check him. Check him. Do what you couldn't do. Check him. Please let the ministers do it. Heart problem. Heart problem. Please. Can you shift this? I'm not afraid. Hallelujah. Can you just step up here, all of you? Please, quickly, quickly. I don't want to step. Heart problems. I'm feeling pains here. Look up, look up, please. Who has pains here? Is this my right or left? This left. Someone is having a sharp pain because I'm having the same pain here. Come. Hold on, hold on. I'll pray for you. And heart problem. What of your waist that pains you? You didn't come out for it, but you will go. Leave her now. Come out of her. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Pack your load. Say it and pack your load. You remember that song? You wouldn't sing it. All right, let's not sing it. Spirit, I will sing Janet songs. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I represent the government of heaven and I bring you the life of that government. Go, go, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, go, go. Check yourself now. Check yourself. It's gone. Please help me with the mic. It's gone. Completely gone. It's gone. What used to happen? Hold on. What used to happen to you? You used to feel pains. Yes, when I came in. I was when you came in, you were feeling pains. You see that? The enemy has done this. You are free forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, my brother. What is this pain that I see here? What happened? I said what happened, but the pain just started yesterday. Yeah, but you are not serious with God now. You see, the pain will keep coming. Eh? You are not even born again. When I make altar call, before I, I finish, just run and come and wait here. Eh? But for now, Jesus will heal you because he's a God of love. You believe that? Out of him now. Come out in the name of Jesus. A foul devil. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. Go, go. Out. Come out of him. Come. My sister. Who is Neka? Who do you know called Neka? I'm hearing a name Neka. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you? Your heart. What happens? It used to pain you. What do you mean it used to pain you? Most times. Now sharp pain always. Sharp pain? Yes. How long? Is your sister? Okay, lay your hands there. For like three months now. Okay, look at me. Open your eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Come out of her, devil of darkness. You are free. Sister, sister, just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. For light cannot stand darkness. You are a foul spirit. I've seen you in the spirit. 
out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my dear, you are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, as I pray for you, go back to your seat quickly. No, 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 no. How can you go? I'm not done in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands on her stomach. All right, go. Go! You see something forming like a growth. You must go. They call it a growth. The life that sponsors this growth, you will go right now. With a loud shout. That's what the Lord tells me. You will go with a loud shout. Now! Your two brothers, uh, they, where are they? They're in the village. What's wrong with them? They don't hear well. They are stubborn or they don't no, hear well? They are ears. Okay, they are ears. Yes. Can we agree for them? Yes. What's their name? Tony and Ima. Tony and Ima. In the name of Jesus, for uh, you two, you need help now, madam. Let's start with you first. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Please put your hands on your stomach. Let that pain go. And then for your two brothers, the Lord perfects them. In the name of Jesus Christ. When I lay hands on you, you will be healed. Don't worry. It doesn't mean I have to cast out a demon. See, manifestation is not a sign that demons are in you or they are going out. Faith in the word of God is. Brother, you are not very fine, no, Mr. Man. In Jesus' name. The ministers are going to come up and will start ministering to people. In mass, what's wrong? Steal the heart. Go! Come out of him. Come out of him right now. Out of him. Out! In the name of Jesus. What's wrong with you? Take him outside. He's going to cough something. Quickly. No coughing inside corner the auditorium. Please take him outside quickly. He will go by the influence of the spirit. So he's going to run. Hold him. He's going to run by the influence of the spirit. Okay, I'll pray for you. Huh? Jesus' name. That pain leaves you forever. In Jesus' name. Sister, come. What's your name? Jane. Jane. Where are you from? My state of origin, Benue. Because the same way you are dressed, that's the same way I'm seeing you in the spirit, but the only thing is your face is covered. Are you listening to me? But the Lord will set you free. What did you come for? I used to have a heart problem each time I have anything in my mind. What of the movements around your body? Something is moving around your body. Affect my life, freedom. Free. 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 You can't hide in her. Come out in the name of Jesus. And set this lady free. You're free. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. What's wrong with you? Anytime I get angry. Anytime you get angry. You know what's wrong with you? But you want God to help you, right? See, this lady is so desirous of help. Because I see the spirit of anger. You can carry bottle and kill somebody with it. Is that true? You want to be set free from it? Look at my eyes. I've seen you now in the spirit. Kaposhata! Kepariata! Come out! Out of her! Come out of her right now. 
foul spirit of wickedness in the name of Jesus this is a very nice girl oh. this is a very nice girl but when that spirit comes she can break this bottle and tear your head with it you must go I'm seeing a snake. This is the spirit of lust. Come out. Leave her alone. Just leave her. Come out. I see that spirit. It's a snake. This is what I'm seeing. You must leave her right now. Out of her. Out of her. See, you don't need to think about Satan. You just need to get him out of the way and build your life with the word of God. I set you free right now no more anger look at me you are not free yet just look at my eyes Jesus is saying, you're free. Leave her. You're free. She's free. My dear, no more anger. You will serve the Lord all your days. Okay, God bless you. Heart. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed right now of that heart problem. When I make altar call, where are you seated outside? Please, as you hear the altar call. Of her. Come out of her. Bring her in. Bring her in. Come out. Come out of her. Bring her. Careful. Careful. Come here. Bring her. Bring her here. Come out now. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you right now. Come out. Come out. Fire upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Now you must leave. You've tormented this girl for a long time. Out of her right now. In Jesus' name. You must go out. Come out. Your exodus out of her life with a loud shout. I instruct you to leave now at the count of three. One, two, three. Now, now, now. Out. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I set you free. Set you free. for altar call before I finish just run and come and stand huh you you know what I'm saying right it makes sense to you huh you're not gone you must go I see you in the spirit go come out 
Potiphar. Be silent. Speak no word. Go out. What did you put in her stomach? Take it and go out. Take it. Remove what you put in her stomach. I see it now. Remove what you put in her stomach and go out. I said remove it. Take it out now. Foul devil of darkness. The prongs, the panda, gratila. Rabaka Pretekete. Jesus set you free. You're free now. In Jesus' name. Leave her. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. I said, look at my eyes. This is the instruction. I see like claws holding this lady. Now, go. In peace. And I mean it. Take it away and go. Set her free right now. Jesus' name. Stand up. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just stand up. <laughs> My brother, like I said, what did you say is wrong with you? You have all these things now. When you are doing all the things you are doing, you know what I'm saying, right? Does it make sense to you? Abba. Nka shower, nka shower. Your body will not leave you now. This is your problem. You know what I'm saying, right? Ever since before you started, it will happen. Who led you into taking it? Tell me the truth. You can't hide it. I've seen it. I did myself. You started by yourself? Yes. Since when? Since 1998. The Lord sets you free. Break you free from that addiction. When I make the altar call, just run and come. God will give you a new beginning and you will be a great man. from it. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. 
Come, it's your time to go out. Oh, yeah. Sir King Salama. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. No, you don't need to force her. This is authority. I'm not speaking by myself. So I can't use my strength. Once you use your strength, the strength of God is of no effect. This is God speaking. Look at my eyes. Quick, look at my eyes. you the authority of Jesus. Go. Go now. At the count of three, quietly let her go. You're hearing me. One. This is Good Friday. Two. <laughs> three. Or I go. Quietly. Quietly. You must leave. I've given the command. I've given the command. You will go. Out. Out you go. That's it. Bye-bye. Find someone else somewhere. No, it's going. It's going. There's no stopping. The word has been spoken. Sister, come. No, this lady with blue will be green. That's it. Leave her. She's free. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. It's a terrible spirit. Hold on. It doesn't leave until she's turned with her back. This is crazy. Whatever this means. All right, turn your back and go. Say a terrible thing. Back, whatever that means. I'm not a herbalist for God's sake. You heard me. Turn your back now and leave. It cannot leave until she's on her back. I said, turn your back and go out now. You are a foul spirit. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Just leave her. Just leave her. Turn your back. You will lie on your back and it will go. That's right. He's bringing everything. When she lies on her back, he's going quietly. I don't understand some of these things. We're still learning. So you lie and go. There's an angel standing close to her. That's why I told you people don't bother. Now, we are going to minister. We will have to hurry up. If you brought somebody who is sick, please come out here quickly. The ministers are going to lay hands upon you, but bring this lady for me. All right, your time is up. Go. That's it. She's free. Stand up. Stand up. Please, can I have the water again? My sister, come. Well done. You will live your life serving the Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Where else did you put this kind of thing? Look at me. Look at me. Where else do you have this kind of thing? This is what attracts the wrong men to you. You don't even know. Mindsets. All right, that's all.
Look at me. Touch my hands. Just touch my hands. You know what you are seeing. I'm speaking to the spirit, not you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Touch my hands. Go ahead, touch my hands. The hands of Jesus. I bring you life. You may leave her now. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. With a loud shout, you are going. This is what the Lord. Go. In Jesus' name. For how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way? How can you when you don't know the way of the Spirit? How can you fly like eagles when you don't know the way? Are these the only sick people? Please, every other sick person, come and join them quickly. While that is happening, pass your prayer requests quickly. Outside, please pass it to the last person at the side. Let's do that quickly. All the sick people, please come quickly. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the sleeping. Please come and lie down. Sass, Jake, Please come and stand here. Get set to be healed. This is not trial and error. While that is happening, everyone, please pass your, your prayer point. Swallow your pride. Listen, as hands come upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be perfected. Pastor Sam. Hallelujah. Now we'll start praying for you. Whatever the case is, I've waited for when I'll pray for you. Come and stand. You come. It's time for your salvation. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Give her now. Go. You're free. Next. Please, quickly. Whatever is wrong with you, as hands are laid upon you, that's it. Be healed. Be healed. Every sickness. Peptic ulcer. Who is the person? Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Come. Be set free from anything. Anything wrong with you. Come out. Leave her. Go. Go. Set her free right now. Go. Go. You're a foul spirit. I've seen you. Go. What's wrong with her? Okay. What did I say? Peptic ulcer. Fire upon you right now. Quietly go. Peptic ulcer, you come. Come out of her. Come out now. You have caused a lot of delay in her life. This is out, out. You're a wicked spirit. Come out. I've seen you. Out. You said she will not marry. She wouldn't do anything. It's, it's a time of deliverance. Out of her. Come out now. Come out now. I set you free. I open doors of blessings to your life. Please, quickly. What's wrong with them? Yahweh
Your salvation has come. It's your time to smile. Run and come. I say run. Look at what she's doing. No, he will still pray for you. Come, my dear. Look at you. Look at me. See, for the Lord says, I should tell you, not only doors of marriages, but doors of restoration and prosperity. You have cried. This lady loves the Lord, but she has suffered. You have seen, you have suffered. Aha. I'm seeing a cake and it's a wedding cake. This is what the Lord shows me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I release you into this. Place. Where's the lady I asked her to come? Where's the lady? Sister, look at me. Start rejoicing because of the good. No, I didn't say dance here. The good things that will happen in your life will be surprised. Look at me because you have suffered. God brought you here to bless you. If I were you, I'll find the person that invited me and take him out for lunch. Go, go. It's a time. That's it. Step into your blessings in the name of Jesus. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Yes, Lord, you are the King. on Facebook and all our members please if we cannot have it no problem hold on there are two ladies please don't be ashamed okay the Lord asked me to call out the case don't be ashamed okay three people you are suffering from is a bedwetting issue See, we're a family. Do we all agree we're a family? There's no need. There's no... Okay. You're suffering from this a serious issue. Please come. This is a serious issue. There's no hiding and this is... Yeah, please, we are very serious. Because God will set you free. That's why. We're a family of faith. There's no... This is miracle service. This is not a conference. It's a miracle service. Sister, look at my eyes. Just look at me. Keep looking. Fire upon you. I expose you, foul spirit of darkness. Now, but wedding stops forever. It's a spirit. She has a dream. This is I'm seeing the dream that this lady has now. She has a dream. They are pouring water, and she's standing there. Later, the water becomes a bathroom, and she wakes up and sees. You will look and think she's an irresponsible lady. Some of you who will not keep your mouth in one place. You like talking about people. See, judge not. The spirit of Christ is the spirit of love. When you see your brother in a child, help the person. Don't be the one carrying your big mouth from left to right. When you yourself are not free. Hallelujah. Don't be judgmental and cynical. Let's, let's give our brethren room to find security. Koinonia is not a church. This is an apostolic center where God is setting people free. On Sunday, you can go to your church. This is not a church. It's not a prayer house. It's a place where Jesus dwells. And he's doing wonders. Sister, I set you free. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hold on, because I'm still going to pray for her. She came from just God is going to use her. All of you standing here, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. God will set you free right now. 
God is helping you, but you need a kingdom mindset. Mindset. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Foul devil. Go! Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. I'm speaking to you. Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. Aha! Come out of her! Now I've seen you. Come out of her! Foul spirit! Fire upon this body right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are a wicked spirit. Go. In the name of Jesus. Now, see, out of her, what is this that you are putting in her stomach? You will remove it. Remove it now. I said remove it. I'm seeing it. I see something like a band. Remove it. Take it away. Remove it. Let everybody see. I said remove it now in the name of Jesus. Our foul devil. No. No. Just quietly come out. Honestly, don't disturb us in this place. Go out, please. Go out in Jesus' name right now. This thing happened to your father. This thing is happening to your loved ones. What is this around your waist? This is what I'm saying. Come out! You're a wicked spirit. Out! Spirit of lust. Aha! Out! Come out of her right now. You're a wicked spirit. Look at, look at this. Come out! What did Kabarakata Grento Satilaka Repatarita Rabata Batoso Pregete Recata Pariata by the fire power of the spirit? Many of you will find out that your spiritual life will take a new dimension. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now you will begin to understand the word. But don't judge others. Because with this spiritual insight now, you will be looking at people and be seeing how oppressed people are. It should create love in you. The true spirit of Christ will reveal the character of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands. With both of your hands. As tight as you can. First bank had a song. He said, what is the song? Man pass man. Bank pass bank. Jesus pass demons. Is that not a good one? Compose your own. Now you must go. Out of her. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Even aside from standing in, I need to pray for you. A good usher, so you will feel come out of her, out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands, hold my hands. Look at your own hands shaking. What is this? Watch from today. Just look at it. This is demonic, this is nonsense. Huh? And I am come that ye may have life. I pray that when some of you begin ministry, you will bring Jesus alive to the scene. You won't let men just doubt whether Jesus is Lord. What is happening to you? Spinning me. Jesus said, it is the thief that comes to steal to kill and to destroy please hang on because i'm going to prophesy this is the best part of the session where i begin to speak to people but first let's play on this request Sass. please can we come all of you stretch your hands inside and outside please stretch your hands on your request
Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. I have seen you in the spirit. Hapa. Rata. Rakata. Parekete ke parata posoto. Rabandeke parika. Ratosko petalia. Regete ke teke teke de belereba. Rapatosko prenda. Raposko par. Reteke teke telekete. Rebako paratosko pa. Rapaskia. Fire upon you right now. 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 Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out of her. Come out. She loves the Lord, but you will not oppress her. Come out. This this is what has been responded. Come out. Fire upon you right now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. You must go. Oh yes, you must. Go, go, I've not finished with you. Go. 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 In the name of Jesus, I challenge you. I'm seeing an altar. I set it on fire. Kaparata. Rabrete keterete. Rabaka paratapa. Babriata. I told you Satan likes bodies. They won't go. It takes the power of the spirit. Go, 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 go. Go. Please be praying on the request. Don't let's save time. Go. Go. In the name of Jesus. For with authority commanded he devils and he obeyed. At the count of three, your time of exit is come. This is Good Friday. One. Two. Three. Go. In Jesus' name. Go. Go. In Jesus' name. With a loud shout, come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. She's free. Stand up. We can run. Where's the other lady that was here? There was a lady here, right? Sweetheart, it's okay. Hmm? Please, when people stand up like this, show them love, help them. Don't just stand and be looking at them. Someone was standing here. Come, my dear. You are going to begin a journey with the Holy Spirit. God has set you free. I'm going to impart an anointing upon you. There's, there's still impartation coming in okay it's not all about deliverance there's you need grace all right you have finished with satan so you need to have something my dear god will do great things through your life you may look weak in yourself but when he overshadows you that which will be born of you will be called the holy thing hallelujah lift your hands look at me my god there is no man who is able to separate. The Bible says, when they all gathered in prayer and fasting, the Holy Ghost said unto them, separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord Jesus, place your hands upon her by yourself and separate her. I separate you right now to the dealings of the Spirit. I open you up to visions. I open you up to spiritual experiences. Receive the fire right now. Receive it right now. Thank you, Jesus. An angel is pouring oil upon you right now. This is what is happening to you. Upon your hands and your head and your chest. Let the oil come.
Thank you, Jesus. Let's stretch our hands, everyone. Please stretch your hands. Go ahead and begin to pray now. Please, for your loved ones, say, Lord, every request here, those outside, everywhere, stretch your hands towards this. Stretch your hands towards your screen. In the name of Jesus. Lord, miracles. Release miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, by your great power, thy enemies submitted. All the requests here, and even those who are online, Father, by your power, by the power of your spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, and answer prayer, answer prayer. Let there be miracles, let there be miracles, miracles, doors open, miracle babies for our loved ones, miracle marriages, open door, finances open in the name of Jesus. Reconciliation to home that are broken in the name of Jesus. Miracles, miracles, miracles. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. Now, I want to pray for everybody right now. Please don't miss this part. This is where the Lord separates men unto great things. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. It's not to say you are wearing this. Come. Look at my eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. I expose darkness. Go! In the name of Jesus. I truly want to pray for you from the depth of my heart. Don't miss this part. He sent forth his word. Whenever a prophetic word is about coming to your life, listen, this is where God picks men into miracles, be it financial, be it whatever. I don't do these things because I'm a man of God. I do these things as I am moved by the Spirit. Whether you are inside or outside, even if no one can see you, I like you to lift your hands and where you need to shout amen, shout it with all that you have lift your hands something will happen in this place right now for he never sends us alone he leaves us a witness Jesus I want to impart gifts anointings graces help me instrumentalists at the count of three, I'll begin to release them in mass, everywhere, inside and outside. It's time for you to step up spiritually. I come in the name of the Lord. Lift your hands. Father, confirm your word. No, you don't need to bring them out. You don't need to bring them out now. This is impartation. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands now. Come on, Babaratata. Shout Jesus just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take the fire. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I release gifts. Gifts of prophecy. Gifts of healing. Receive it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I activate your spirit man. I activate your sense. Share in the spirit. See in the spirit. Perceive spiritual things. Baba Rata, Baba Baba, Ropo, 
Rosa, Rekea, Reko Sata, Rabaria, Paros, Korekata, Mapeto Sodia, Rendekete Lekete. Receive it, receive it, receive it, take it, take it. Now the fire of the Holy Ghost is coming. Listen, just leave them, just leave them. It's not a crime for them to drop a seat. Just read. Listen, the fire of God is going to mantle some of you. And this will take you to a new level of Christian experience. Not everybody. Lift your hands. For some hungry people, oh God. I see cloven tongues of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, thou power of the Holy Ghost, move, move, move. Fire, fire, let it come like rain. Prophetic experiences. Take it. Outside. Take it. Take it. Hallelujah. I want to pray for favor. Favor. Oh, how we need it. Favor. It will come strong on some people. I tell you, it will hit some of you in a way that you cannot recover from. My Lord, in the name of Jesus, favor anointing, fall, 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 Favor, favor, favor. Let it hit you, let it hit you like tornado where you are, like a fireboat. Aparata kaba, baka brata rata, teke ke teke telebo. I want to prophesy breakthrough. 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 Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. Brother, come. God will do mighty things with you. Lift your hands. God, use him mightily. Take it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not be the same again. Lift your hands. The breakthrough anointing. Higher. The Lord is showing me doors. Kenneth, the breakthrough anointing is coming on you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Haparata Bosa. Rakata Reka. Parata Paria. Lift your hand. I'd like you to shout, I receive just once. It will hit some of you. Shout, I receive just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it, the breakthrough anointing. I command doors be open. Doors be open. Miracle jobs, marriages. Barren women receive. Barren women receive. All kinds of breakthrough. I pray for your finances. Within the next 30 days. Many of you don't know what the anointing of the spirit. I'm not ministering as Joshua Selman. Don't be foolish. Within the next 30 days. Lord, confirm your word. If you have sent me. Let the fire come. Listen, this is what I'm doing. I pick you from where you are financially. I place you in a prophetic position. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. 
take it for your families miracle calls miracle connections miracle connections miracle calls miracle connections miracle calls miracle connections miracle calls family under any yoke of bondage I don't care what it is from this night I set you free in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus any building project that your parents are in in the name of Jesus within the next seven days let the finance to continue it I put it prophetically upon your hands in the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Thank you. For you and for your loved ones who need jobs, I call April a month where you will experience turn around. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and the Lord had blessed him in all things. I prophesy that anointing all round. For your academics receive grace. For your academics receive grace. Grace to be the best. Grace to excel. You are not dull. I call you brilliant. I call you blessed. I call you blessed. I speak to your exams. I speak to your papers. I speak to last semester's results. I call it excellence. Distinction. Where you made mistakes, we correct it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood upon your papers. Let it speak better than the blood of Abel. For final year students, we graduate you in this place right now. Believe me, believe, believe. Don't be doubters. I know you have challenges. I'm not speaking as a man. For as many who can believe, we release you in the name of Jesus. Let policies change in your department. Let them change in your faculty. Every satanic molestation over your life, over your dreams, in the name of Jesus. I put a seal of the blood because Christ died. No devil can access your life again. In the name of Jesus. I command you increase. Multiply. Advance. Move forward. I break you free from habits. Any habit you have been struggling with. Any habit. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by our father shall be uprooted. I uproot it tonight. The Lord still tells me prophesy on their finances. Listen. 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 We're rounding up. I don't do this all the time. But please everybody package a seed. I want to pray for your finance. If you don't believe it, just leave it. Just package a seed. I want to do something that will shake your finances. Please. Who needs one person? Please. This is not about money. You know us here in this place. Package a seed. I want to. Please package something that will touch you. We don't teach you error here, brothers and sisters. This is not about money. We're a blessed ministry. Please do it for yourself, some of you, for your family. Just package something that will cost you and lift it up. This is not some spiritual jamboree. You will watch what will happen. Lift it up, please. Lift it up. Honestly, from your heart. If you don't believe what I'm doing, please put back your seed. Just lift it up, inside and outside. Please, if you can help your neighbor, it will be the best thing you would have done. If you can help your neighbor. Don't make foolish decisions, please. Your common sense is still with you. But I'd like you to do something that will, will challenge poverty in your life. Please just play the strings for me. Many of you do not know. 
we don't neglect spiritual principles we only put them in place honestly honestly hear me if god is god and we are serving him truly something will happen to your finances that will surprise you some of you are standing in for your families you just hold on and see i have tried this thing it has worked lift it many of you as you are holding it you will see what will happen to you before you drop lift it up jesus i didn't call myself oh lord you called me to bless your people to lift your please lift it <laughs> for yourself and family hold, just hold it just hold it just keep it hold. keep it some of you are under financial curses for your family just keep it up that's what i want to break a sacrifice brought that cause let a sacrifice take it out go 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 i break the curse go 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 lift it up go go i break the curse go it's a curse it's a curse upon individuals and families lift it up make sure you package something that will touch you i break it it took sacrifice to bring the curse lord we lift this sacrifice like that of abel i terminate poverty you are a spirit go i create a sound of abundance in the spirit I give your seed a voice in the realm of the spirit. I speak against altars of darkness that keep families in bondage. Go! Go! I set them on fire. Hallelujah. Father, these hands that are lifted, Please, even if you don't have a seed, just lay your hands on someone's hand who has a seed and lift it. Father, as a house in Koinonia, Lord, you cannot give me people to lead and you are blessing us as a house and it's not showing in their lives. Let everyone who identifies with this ministry, I prophesy the same oil of inexplainable but undeniable prosperity, I release it upon your life right now. I release it upon your life right now creativity beyond your imagination visions of ideas destiny help us for your family members those who need jobs take jobs those who need business ideas receive it those whose business are dying I resurrect it back I put the life of God into it let the dry bones come alive I speak to this seed Lord this will not be the last seed they will give but may this be the least you will give because of the degree of abundance ushers quickly yeah. I wish many of you can see what is happening in the realm of the spirit all our services are powerful it's just that the miracle service is a special service quickly quickly Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. We are soon rounding up. Just hold on. Do you know part of the reasons why? Hold on. Part of the reasons why people don't wait, except they have something serious. Do you know part of the major reasons why people don't wait for meetings like this is because of demonic activities. They keep making them uncomfortable and they leave because of certain blessings listen not every man of god is out to destroy you god sends people to lift you i promise you you will never be the same hallelujah now it's not just enough to be prayed for to be healed to be released you must grow in the word i can't tell you this enough there are many of you who only come for miracle services because you want you won't grow that way you must be taught the word subject yourself to the teaching of the word the bible says i commend you to the word of his grace which is able to 
keep you and to give you an inheritance he said according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness how through the knowledge of him who has called us into glory and virtue the next verse says wherefore has he given us this exceedingly great and precious promises that by them we might become the partakers of his divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in this world through loss subject yourself to the word you must be taught the word you must grow there's no shortcut to greatness there's no shortcut to the anointing and to the presence of god everyone please stand up right now i'm inviting those who i don't need to do any special cajoling all those people that i told them it's time to get born again now it's your time to run out and come out here everyone who wants to give his life to jesus christ or you have once given your heart to the lord and you've run and this is stand please you are not coming to me hallelujah inside and outside jesus loves you now is the time of salvation we do not condemn you leave your seat and come if you've given your heart to the lord and you found yourself derailing no problem just come outside there are a number of you outside god is calling you leave your friend come thank you jesus Koinonia, celebrate them. This is the biggest miracle. Come, God bless you. Bless you, sister. Bless you, my brother. Don't stop. God bless you. You need Jesus. He's the fountain of life. He's the one we represent here. He's the one we exalt. There is only one name. Not any man of God. Not Bishop Stan. Not Pastor Jakes. Not Joshua Selman. Jesus and him alone. I sense that there are still some of you that are waiting behind. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. Hallelujah. Now look at me. All of you who have come here, God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. I want you to know that you will never be the same in Jesus' name. This is the greatest decision you will ever make in your life. Now lift your right hand high above your head. And say this very very loud say after me lord jesus is not a poem say lord jesus i love you i believe you died for me i surrender my heart to you because i cannot help myself today i make jesus lord of my life i denounce sin and satan i declare that I'm born again. The life of God is in me. And Satan will go. Go! Was he praying? And what, what was I saying? And Satan will live my life forever. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. She's making Jesus Lord of her life. You're a foul spirit. Out! Out! You're a wicked spirit. Go. This is this is authentic born again, authentic one that comes with a dramatic change. Many of you got born again, you were laughing from the beginning to the end, you don't even know what happened to you. This is what they call old time religion born again. The one that will leave a mark in your life, you won't forget. Unfortunately, those who talk about old time don't go far enough, they mean religious born again, acts of the apostles. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. From today, I am yours in the name of Jesus. I'm a child of God. I break free from addictions in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I appreciate them. Look at me, brothers and sisters. Thank you so much. This is the best decision you have ever made in your life to make Jesus Lord of your life. Now, I'd like you to just follow the ushers. They will lead you and then will follow you up and make sure you are grounded in the things of God. Never forget this day from today. You're going forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please appreciate them. Pastor Jax is meeting with you tomorrow by, by 5 p.m. Chapel premises. Please, ushers, make sure you remind them. Tomorrow, 5 p.m. Hallelujah.
Now, if you're worshiping with us for the first time, inside and outside, we're out of time. Please, I'd like you to run and come out quickly. We want to bless you. Appreciate them. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Confidence is come out here. You'll be the first to receive the blessing. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. She's a visitor, but you must leave. Don't go back the same way. Hallelujah. When we say we have a blessing, we are not joking. We really mean it. Come, quickly. Thank you for coming. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for coming. This is Koinonia. Today happens to be our miracle service. We meet here every Friday. Hallelujah. I assure you, you will never be the same. The Lord will bless you and he will make you a wonder in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that he will help you. I pray that his grace will be at work in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Whatever you came here with, whatever expectation, believe God and it will be done. Hallelujah. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we pray for them. Father, may they step into blessings beyond their imagination. We bless you with a fresh hunger for God's presence. You will love the Lord more than anything. We bless you with the spirit of prayer. We bless you with passion for the word. I command everyone under the influence of any spirit that is not of God to be free. In the name of Jesus, we open up closed doors for you. We anoint you in the name of Jesus. May you walk in paths of the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same again. May the hand of God be strong upon your life. May the Lord use you mightily in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We'd love to see you again and again. And we pray that by the power of Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you